Hello everyone, in this video I break down this winter render and explain step by step what I did to create this winter masterpiece in Lumion. So for step 1, it's going to be the model. So before we step into Lumion, we need a 3D model. Luckily the 3D warehouse in SketchUp has a lot of great models. I didn't have time to model my own, but I took this one from the 3D warehouse. The link to this model will be in the description. So after we download our model into SketchUp, we can move on to the landscape. So now we have a model, now we need a landscape. I want to place the camera here, so I position the landscape here to get the maximum of the landscape in my render. I want to elevate the ground behind the house and lower it a bit in front of the house to make sure it focuses on the building. Then I wanted to add a driveway that is covered in snow. I want to use a 3D model for that, but I need to lower the ground to make it fit. Then I copied the ground and remodeled it a bit to have some variation of snow and exposed ground. After adding the landscape, I also add some furniture from the 3D warehouse so the rooms wouldn't look empty in the render. So after the modeling, we can import our model into Lumion. Let's place it high enough so we don't have the basic Lumion landscape poking through. So for the next step, I want to have some high quality 3D snow objects. Lumion doesn't have those, so we are going to the web browser, searching for quicksun.com, log in and go to the Arctic collection. Here we have some cool high quality 3D models set up my downloads to the maps I need for Lumion. That's Albo, Normal, Roughness, Specular and Displacement. For the best models I will suggest to get the LOD, 0 or 1 because these have the highest polygons. And now we're here, let's also get the snow material for the ground. I will take this one. Now, let's import everything into Lumion. Add all the materials and set the values on 100%. Except for the displacement map. I normally put this one between 30 to 50% max. This is because otherwise the material would look too distorted. After that, let's add all the models like this one we did and place them around the scene. I add a road model to create a driveway at the place that I had in mind while modeling the landscape. This model makes it look like the driveway was cleaned from the snow so the car can drive through. These details are important for realistic renders. You can add elements so they can tell a story. If you add up all these details, the outcome will be really good. Trust me. After that, let's add some more snowy elements like these where the snow was swept away. Also some elements with rocky material poking through the snow to create uh, some extra variation in the landscape. Let's add some snowy elements on top of the roof, so the building looks even more integrated into the scene. So after I added the snowy elements, let's move on to the materials. Let's add some ground materials to the landscape, like our snow material, and this one for the ground. Then add some concrete and wood to the building and some other materials. I also added an emissive material on the interior walls, but I will come back to that one later. So for the next step, let's go to the foliage. Well, mostly it's going to be leafless trees. I made a palette of trees and added them as a cluster to the project. Then 
Then I added some leafless bushes, but I felt like there was something missing, so I added some pine trees as well, for some color. I added some clusters behind all the trees, and a leafless tree in front of the building, to draw a little bit more attention. So for the next step, after the foliage, I want to add some lights. I added some lights in the building to make it look someone is home. Because of the rest of the scene is mostly white, the one color of the lights will create a focus point, because it stands out in the render. I also added spotlights spawning outside through the windows. The reason for that is because I want to see the light reflecting on the snow. Now I have more control of faking that effect, instead of just using the simple light bulbs that are already in the building. So after the lights, let's move on to the render settings and the camera. Let's start with the camera. So for the position of the camera, I already made sure to have a place set up. It's around somewhere here, because the whole scene is based on that point. Let's set up the camera in Lumion and place it over here. Let's move on to the render settings for now. First I added the layer visibility and activate every layer. Then let's add the real skies. I took the first one from the evening tab. I rotate the sky and left the rest on default. Then I added the ray tracing effect. I kept the max amount of bounces and set the samples on 212 when I'm ready to render. So for now I kept the default on 16. I also added the 2D effect and the color correction effect. Of that one I lowered the contrast a bit and manually added the exposure. The rest of the correction will be covered at the end of the video when I'm doing some post production in Photoshop. Then I added the precipitation effect for the snow. I removed the particles and I set the phasing on 0.37 because I don't want to cover the whole scene with snow. Then I removed the extra fog of the precipitation effect, because I wanted to add my own fog. This way I have more control on the amount and color of the fog. I gave the fog a bluish gray tint and didn't much change the default settings. Normally I make some general adjustments across the project as my last step. So after these steps I normally go back and forth through the things I don't like. I changed the materials in the interior and add some lights and made them a lot brighter. Also add some other render effects like bloom and sharpness. And I added the volumetric lights as well, only to the spotlights that point outside of the house. So for the foliage I added some more green bushes because I didn't like the look of the leafless bushes in the snow. That's way better. Back to the materials, I softened the edge more of the snow material because there was a slight edge from the landscape model in the lower right corner. I also went back to the 3D model and changed some wall colors. Because I didn't like the horizontal window, so after editing the material, I re-imported the model and changed the materials. I, won't, I don't want to have the back rooms be lit, so I changed that to normal white stucco. The front rooms I also added stucco, but with an orange tint to them. And made them emissive. This is because then the room looks better lit from the outside. I used the same trick in the office building from a few months ago. And for the finishing touch I placed some decals that add a little bit more detail to the walls of the house. For example on the walls, but also lower on the window to make it look like there is still a little bit of snow. So the actual last step in Lumion of course is rendering. Now after everything is ready, I set the samples in the, in the ray tracing to 512 and then I press the render button. I rendered this one at 4K with the material ID and the specular map. So for the actual last step, I want to do some post production in Photoshop. I import all the images and set the specular map on the front as the first layer. I made it so it is an overlay and set the opacity to about 10 to 50%. This gives the render more depth and contrast. Then I merged the images together and added the camera raw filter. This is the easiest way to manipulate the images. I changed the lighting with more exposure and less contrast. Then I changed the color, made it a little bit warmer, and changed the vibrance and saturation. Then I add some texture to make the render look sharper. And in the curve step, I pull the render more together and I decrease the highlights and increase the shadows. So I can pull them more together and the contrast is less between the dark and the light areas. Then I cropped the view and exported it as a 4K PNG. And that's it for this winter render. And here is the final result. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. 
I also wish you all a great Christmas and a happy new year. Leave a like, comment and consider subscribing for more. And I hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.